Hi, it's Carl from Rital, and welcome to this quick video where I'm going to talk about the importance of the product you see in front of you, the humble enclosure heater. I'm going to cover some of the key reasons you may need one inside your enclosure and how to size it correctly for your needs. So number one, protecting your equipment from low temperatures. Low temperatures can damage as much as high if left unchecked. Remember that equipment located outdoors or switched off for a long period of time when started up from cold could be damaged. Products like pumps are a great example of this due to the fluids inside them that when which cold increase in viscosity and can damage sensitive parts of the pump. Number two is preventing condensation. A buildup of moisture inside an enclosure is dangerous and doesn't mix with electronics, so it's important to maintain a good and positive temperature range to protect the possibility of it forming. And finally, number three is more of a reminder. When specifying an enclosure heater, you must partner it with some sort of controller so it knows when to activate. This could be a thermostat, which looks at the temperature inside the enclosure, or a hygrostat, which looks more at the relative humidity inside the enclosure and will activate it that way. Now, let's move on to the Rital Firm software, where I'm going to show you how to size the right enclosure heater for you. Okay, so now we're in the Rital Firm software, which you can use for free if you access it on our website. Just go on there and use the search bar to search for Firm. So as you can see, I've already got the calculation tab. So basically, first off, I put in my enclosure size, my max and minimum internal temperature, those sort of things. And I have specified myself a cooling unit. So that's great. That's what we do in most situations. But obviously, we're talking about enclosure heaters. So what we need to do is we need to go across to this section here, which is called heating, and click on the little green plus sign. When we click on this, it's going to open up a new screen for us and allow us to specify our enclosure heater. So the first thing you need to do is put in a little bit more information. So we need to look at minimum external temperature. So that's the coldest that it's going to get in the ambient environment. So remember, if it's outdoors, it's going to get even colder. So really do make sure that number is accurate. So I'm going to say that it's going to get down to minus five. OK, so I've clicked that and it's refreshed what I need. And then you've got desired internal temperature. Now, this one is how cold you want it to be inside your enclosure. So I'm gonna leave that at 10. And it now gives me a figure here of 545 watts. And this is the power of the enclosure heater I need. So at the moment, it's giving me this part number here. So I can actually click on that and I can click accept. However, if it is going outside, there is another little box here, which is one you need to click. It says double the thermal output due to outdoor sighting. So basically, Rital recommend when using a heater outside the, the use of a second unit. And this is basically just some redundancy to make sure that if the heater doesn't work for any particular reason or it gets extremely cold, you've got some extra wattage there that's going to allow you to um, protect your equipment. So we just click accept on that. And now we've got that in our specification. So we've clicked that. And now you can see that that's been put in here along with our cooling. And we can go on to the accessories section and specify our controller. So here we're going to click on an internal thermostat. So I'm just going to put one of those into my bill of materials. And from there, I can continue on and look at my summary and print off or save the PDF and uh, send this on to Rital so you can get a quotation and purchase your enclosure heater. So hopefully that information is useful to you and just shows you why you need to consider an enclosure heater. If you need more information, don't hesitate to give us a call and we'll happily help you with this. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.